suddenly Nugget Hall. Hey. Let's try talking to everybody. It's definitely gonna help us out. Well, I mean, I haven't been in here yet, so it could be a clue. Cool. Who the fuck is in here? It's just you. Okay. This storage room is really dusty and dark. Oh. My hands are full of cleaning the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Ellipses. Ellipses. Well, there's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. Is this a tablecloth? Oh, a tablecloth? Wait, huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Is this a bloodstain? Huh? A symphony of the night? What? Come here. Take a closer look. What? It's too dark. I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it. This is clearly a bloodstain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to Byakuya's murder, right? Well, if the tablecloth has a bloodstain on it, then it's a possibility. Seriously, it is a bloodstain. Nagito? Fuck, dude. What? You make me concerned. Why? Because he's just kind of like, yeah, if that's the case, I'm like, it is the case. Well, he can't see it. Also, is that box flipping us off in the back? What? Did you see that box? Is that a hand that's flipping us off? I don't know what box you're talking about. There. Oh, yeah, no, that's a thumbs up cast. What the hell? Yeah, but then there's the middle one. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's a logo, Cass. It's Japanese text. Well, I mean, it's just a line. But yes, it looks like a middle. I mean, finger. the box on the left has a bunch of it. We'll say two Japanese lines. text. Okay. There's an awful lot of boxes. Why don't we get. We don't have time to go through each and every one of them. I guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. You might have found a uh, dead body in there. Second dead body. Hmm? Are these irons? Looks like we recently turned on, but why are there three irons on the ironing board? Just as I thought, your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Byaki off the blackout, I also found these irons, but when I found them, all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off, but doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister? That movie? Irons in the storage room has been added to the truth bullet section in your handbook. How'd you make? How much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on and investigate other places already. Hmm? I get it, you're right. Stacks of clean tablecloths that looks like they haven't been used yet. I guess there's nothing strange here. So, I already know how this happened. How? Byakuya set up the blackout. He caused the AC to come on while running a bunch of irons and maybe other electrical that then blew the breaker and shut everything off. That way he could go under the table with his night vision goggles and knife he had tape taped to the bottom of the table with some uh, glow-in-the-dark paint on it. That way he could find it. He then... Maybe it was a defense? Maybe it was pla him game. planning murder. What's up? Why would he need glow-in-the-dark tape? to see the knife if he had the night vision goggles. So that he could get under the table from across the room. And the reason he was across the room was so that he could be far away from but that table. But he wouldn't need the glow in the dark tape then, because he could just see the knife under the table with the glow with the night vision goggles. I mean, you're right, but this is me just piecing things together. I'm figuring it out. Okay. Just asking. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe it was somebody else hid that knife there and he found it when he jumped under the table. Which, at that point... You better not be a fucking bitch. Um, sorry, but Nagito seems suspicious to me and that's problematic because I don't want him to be. I mean... I don't want the first killer to be... Friends. I don't want the first killer to be the one who is literally just, like, alternate Naegi. Because that would be a fucking twist, and I would sit here and be like, you fucking asshole. Also, I just realized... 
What? No yeah, shit. That's fine. We haven't been walking much yet. I, I mean, I there was enough for it to take a dump. Yeah, hey, Buki. Apparently, a great man once said investigations should be done on foot. Yes. So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around with no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, there's no meaning. Hey, Hajime, I just realized something. Could she by any chance know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? Huh? How do you know? So you did hear us, even though Hajime and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> Not only do I have perfect face, style, and personality, but I also have perfect ears. I see. If you're hearing so good, maybe you heard what actually happened during the blackout. Hey. When the blackout happened, you could hear everyone's voice throughout the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? Just leave it to a buki. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. How about no? Don't do that. Huh? <laughs> la 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 la. I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. I see. Oh, you mean like it'd be easy as pie, except being fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. Disagreed. Disagree. She should make a metaphor with a more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, could you can you tell us what you heard? Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of ya. Yep. If you tell us, so you bite Hajime later. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was. That's right, it was Mahiru. Ugh, it's a blackout. Next was Kazuichi's voice, and then the next next voice was mine. Hey, I can't see anything. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! <laughs> Such a good one. Ha, what a nice remark I made! It's to the point and has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Okay. So, Nagito said ow during that, right after Byaku said, what is this? Or whatever. So that means he found the knife, and then something happened and Nagito got involved. That's my guess. I'm really not liking the idea of Nagito being the killer, though. Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> Alrighties, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. I heard you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. Hey, Nagito, say something to her. Hey, did something happen? No, it's just thinking about what Byakuya said during the blackout. What Byakuya said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather... Why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And this is... What do you mean? About that, why don't we discuss it after we investigate a little bit more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. Well, it's not like I really care. Anyway, don't you think Ibuki's account just now is an important clue that will lead us to the truth? Then praise me! Let me bite ya! Fucking do it, you coward. Ouch, why are you really biting me? Am I loud in here yet? Clatter, clatter. Hunt locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Somebody in there? We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... 
There's no response. This is going nowhere. I guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Hajime. The old billing circuit breaker should be inside this office. Circuit breaker, huh? Might be way to the blackout. So it's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Or no. Um Why the hell is it there? Why does it look like that? Have they ever seen the circuit breaker before? That must be this old building circuit breaker. The blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Hmm. It doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit breaker is pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. Well, during the blackout, I was panicking. So bad I forgot anything about that, but... You're right, even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it! No. My dear! Actually, you idiots have no idea what to do about the blackouts, so I'm the one who reset the circuit no breaker! Way. Oh, by the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, first we might as work real good at night, so I have no trouble sitting and seeing in the dark. Eh... If uh, you want to know how I reach the circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know I'm very elastic. Liar! I'm serious. Want to see? Want to see a version of Monokum with all his body stretched out? It's gross. It's grotesque. No thanks. Just imagining it makes me want to puke. Oh really? Such a shame. Still, don't you think Monokum is such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. The heck? What the heck? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well, in that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. In that case, how did the killer trip the circuit breaker? If they didn't re-trip it or set it to be tripped, oh, it's almost like we already have that clue figured out. The Stir Woman case. It should contain all the dangerous items Biakia collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Biaki had the key to this particular durable dur case with him. Check it out. I brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take that key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside the case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. This guy doesn't feel any remorse. See? It's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers... How the heck do those iron skewers fit in there? That makes zero sense. Um, various tools are crammed inside. But it's not possible the killer took anything from here. Because the key to this case was inside the case Biaki had with him. I guess so, you're right about that. So that's not even a clue. Maybe. Hey, isn't Pekko the killer? Why do you think of that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Bianca after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got here, she was gone. No. I shouldn't say this too wildly or else Miss Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Hecko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used that blackout to her advantage to kill Bianca. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better. Yeah, Mr. Shark Teeth, how you coming at other people's appearances? Fuck out of here. Also, right in front of her. Yeah. She's right there. <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Biaki was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in the office. Naturally, I would look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So it's right, you weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker and the Durlman case with all the weapons in it? Huh? So where'd you run off to on your own? Well, well that is... Bathroom. Oh. 
Peku suddenly dropped one knee and started groaning on the spot. Hey, what happened? No, I am just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. So, food is poisoned? I the mean, only people to, the only people to eat it were Peko Peko and Miss. I don't think she could get sick no matter what happens. She's too stupid. Idiots don't get sick. That simple. Yeah, but food poisoning isn't really that kind of what sickness. Stupid people can't get sick. Excuse me, what was that? Hey. Peko it appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied. So. I recommend, I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? It seems like it would be a tough path. Nagito, how did you immediately know what was wrong? Because he's smart? Yeah, no, he's the killer. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Why would Pekka the killer know the that Pekko had to go to the bathroom? Because he poisoned the food. Okay. Um, what happened to her? Mm, it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. What does that mean? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something? Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. You're wrong. And is that really what it is? This remote control is for the office air conditioner. Huh? The time is here set to 11.30. Wasn't the time of the air conditioning in the dining hall also set for that time? Can't be a coincidence, right? Now then. I guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should probably get going now. Yep. Okay, it looks like you've pretty much finished looking around the old building. So how about we check out Byakuya's cottage? Byakuya's cottage? Yep. I also was doing the wrong voice. There might be some clues there, so I thought it'd be a good idea to check it out just in case. But I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. Well, I don't really mind going there together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be... I might be that danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one, chosen by Hope Speak Academy. Alright, All right, then let's get going. To Byakuya's college. Co college. College. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Getting on her hands and knees for the tamer. Did you tame the wild cat? Well, for the breeder. What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought... it was important to check it. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never even considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? And the dining hall had the huge gaps between the floorboards. Then is it possible the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. Yo, catch that Emperor Butterfly, it's worth like 4,000 bells. Go! <laughs> uh, That's crossing. what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well? I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from here. From there, but... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building, either. Do you think there's a possible possibility there's a hidden hole somewhere? 
No, that's not possible. Are you sure? At any rate, it seems you can't get into the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Relief? Why? Because if you could get into the floor from outside, there'd be only one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party also doesn't have an ally by... Oh, right. Fuhiko. So... I suspected him, too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well... Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance... Fuhiko came here. Huh? He did? Huh? What happened, Fuhiko? Oh, hey, what are you doing here, all alone at a place like this? Oh. Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. How <laughs> diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid, they make me want to puke. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Of course not! I was just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... Hm. Well, leave me alone. And then he just left. So that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else, that's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Yes. Um, when do we start talking about video games? It's a mood, though. I see. Even though we really don't know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief, I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is. Well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakia's cottage. As long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I'm almost as sure we have reclaimed the Hellhound earring with my own two hands. It seems he has no intention of investigating. I need to we'll get something. Um, what? I'm just making sure that I have everyone accounted for post-murder. Hmm. The hell's with the bathroom? Huh? The hell? Did I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? Of course I did. Apparently Bianca is the one who got killed. So what? What did you say? You think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want. I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever. Just tell me, what were, you, what were you doing while everyone else was at the party? Hmm? Checking my alibi, eh? Well, I don't have one. I was just chilling in my cottage all by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chiaki said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! Nosy bitch. Jeez. It's true, I went for a little walk, and then just by chance I ended up passing by the old building. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you were actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! What the hell would I do that? It's just a coincidence! It's a coincidence! Alright, I got it. Dumbass. Poor soon, did I? Yep. Alright! Now then, we must head over to Biakia's cottage. If you get lost, check the map in the student handbook. Um... Or I could just do that button. We have a key? Oh, well, no, you don't walk it like that. Huh? It's locked. Hey. Oh. I used to need to ask him for help. So then I could tell I took a deep breath. Hey. Monokuma! Did you call me? Yeah, hey, did you call me? Nagito, why did you train. When did you train Monokuma? Hey. Hey, Monokuma, I was wondering if you can do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> When I get serious, my after image is unleashed. I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. That would be boring to play alone. 
I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and open the guy's cottage already. Well, this is for the class trial. It's something we really need. Mm -hmm. For the class trial? Hmm, if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. I'll leave the rest to you. See if unlock the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. At any rate, that performance was a waste of time. I see. I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, is there a Monokuma doll in here somewhere? Is this where I would save one? Do we have all of them for the chapter? Oh, nope. Got it. That is indeed the last one for this chapter. Good job. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I would have hid one there, so it makes sense. The envelope. To Byakuya Togami. There's an envelope on the table. Is it a letter sent to Byakuya? That's weird. There's no sender. The hoax priest. Is it... Is it suspicious on this deserted island? Hajime. You should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Hmm. Be careful. The first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Huh? This is... This is... Is this a crime warning? No, it says be careful. It's probably a threatening letter. What? No, it's definitely a warning. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe... This is what Bianca suddenly decided to throw a party. Huh? The first to kill will happen tonight. Because something made this threat to Bianca, he gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious of all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Remember what Bianca kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise? Then why did he keep it a secret if he had just told us? He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was a worst case scenario. What do you mean? If everyone knew that what was in the letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other. At that point, there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yeah. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him, is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death after all. Hmm? What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see, he doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But still, we've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Bianchia. If that's the case, that person completely predicted how Bianchia would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Bianca and killed him right before our eyes, in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. Hajime, there's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, you asked Mahiro for a favor early, right? Yeah, I wanted her to fight, find out where everyone was to, just standing around during the blackout. She's probably finished by now, you're coming with me, right? Sorry. Sorry, that's all you. Huh? I need some time alone, I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. I see, I understand. Yeah. Also, if you're gonna go back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. now. I'll see you later. He was pretty pale, I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for me to worry about Nagito. There isn't much time left, I better hurry over to the old building. So there's nothing left to do in here, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. You can do the thing to look around. Or not, you could leave. I'd already hit the button. To look at the what? To just look around. Oh, no. What? Oh, I'm facing away from the door. Yes. 
Just to be sure. I mean, sure. Done. Oh, one of me. <laughs> too cruel. This is just too cruel. Oh, that's yours. What am I doing? Motherfucker. Hello, <laughs> bitch. Sorry. Too cruel. This is just too. Yeah, I might as well ask her about the old building's windows. Hey, do you have a sec? I want to ask you something. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna help you guys mistreat your friends. Mistrust, yeah. What the hell? Mistrust. It's not like we're doing this because we want to. No, now it's not the time to fight about stuff like that. More importantly, do you know why this old building's windows are covered by iron plates? Huh? Iron plates? I covered them up so nobody makes the mistake of going inside since it's dangerous because of the renovation. I see, the renovation, so that's why you cover them up. Because it's dangerous to go inside! Danger isn't supposed to exist on this island! This isn't how it was supposed to be! But, but why did it get like this? It's cruel, too cruel. Just because it's cruel doesn't mean you can do anything. You can just keep crying like that. Crying won't solve anything. We have to do this no matter what, damn it. So, I mean, that explains it, that it's not very helpful to us. Yeah, I mean, it's just like how you could ask Chia or Chihiro about the numbers in the first one. It's not required. You don't have to do it. It doesn't help you at all, but you can. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> What the hell? What the, what the hell was that loud voice just now? I had assumed it was... What's his face? Do you have something to say? I feel so lighthearted right now. I, Negamar Nidai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? I won't lose to anyone, not even to my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? What? I don't even know who's behind it, but someone tried to ha tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. I think you mentioned it. You said something like that shortly after the party started. Jeez. However, if you think if if you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Do all and achieve all is once per one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. In other words, the leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to get into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut from before the party started until after the blackout? So what I mean is... And after the bathroom was finally occupied after Bianca's body was found, that's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I should remember it just in case. Hmm? The bathroom seems to be open. I don't really need to go in right now. Uh, I hate it when a character's like, oh, I don't need to check this out, and I'm like, please? Even if it's useless? Okay, no, this is just... Well, I... Well, you weren't in here before, so I'll start with you. Hmm. Hmm. Just as I thought, there's... It seems there's no way to get under the floor from inside this old building. Maybe. So it's just Nagito said. If that's the case, I guess I should give up on finding Gundam's earring. Like we were really trying. Hey, you're here! Where the hell did you wander off to? 
I wasn't wandering. I was investigating as much as I could. I see. Well, if you weren't slacking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm. Yeah, sort of. You don't sound too sure. Hey. Well, just take a look at this. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. Sorry, stretching. So this is everyone's standing position before the blackout. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. Um, Chiaki's there, if you go position unknown, camera windows are covered. Yeah, that's a pretty good diagram of the area. I made this diagram from analyzing those photos, so I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Bianca was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible, there's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Huh? What's that, this line extending from the table to where Bianca was killed? Uh, it's the desk lamp. I drew the power cord for it, just in case. The power cord for the desk lamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Bianca was killed, that means... Hey. So did you find something? It's not clear to me yet, but... Hmm. I guess... You're right, I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't a waste at all. Huh? It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistaking that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. No truth bullet? That's weird. Um, if you'd like, I could tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? Um, I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Biakia's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Biakia's chest and abdominal region. Deep wounds deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. And it can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over again, which is what I believe. In diameter. So it was... Hmm. Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry! <laughs> Talking about it made me sad! No need to push yourself, I mostly got the gist of it, of what you had to say. <laughs> I'm sorry... Still around 5 millimeters in diameter, huh? Isn't that pretty thin? That's as thin as an ice pick or an all. Definitely not that knife. So, what I'm understanding is that the missing skewer. Nagito, you were the only one in this building before this. Before Bianca started setting all this stuff up. Which means that my initial assumption that Bianca had set up the stuff is wrong. Nagito is the one who set everything to trip. Bianca was smart and had a pair of goggles on him. Because he had everything he needed because it's fucking Bianca Togami. And so he hid under the table, found a knife, said, What is this? We hear a Nagito go, Ow, which I'm not really sure what that was. And then the stabbing with the pitchfork thing happened. This is my guess as to what's happening. We can always change things as we gain more info. Dong, bing, bong. Alrighty, guys! It's finally time! That's right! It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. Ah, that's what the dangerous thing that I wasn't allowed to view was. That, my yeah. friends, is Monokuma Rock. 
Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Mountain with a carving of Monokuma's face at the central island. Alright. Um, before we do anything. Yeah. Stop that. Uh, fuck. Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa. This is probably like a two-part investigation thing that I did, but we'll, we'll see how I feature game manages that. That's not on me. We're about to prove who committed Mieta, and I'm not exactly happy about it. Mieta. See you all then. Bye, guys.